Ontario Blind Sports Association is passionate about the development of blind sports for athletes, coaches and officials. We help provide opportunities for participants of different ages and abilities in a variety of sports. Being physically active is important for everyone and OBSA works hard to ensure anyone can be active in sports no matter what their visual ability. People with a visual impairment or who are blind can and should play all kinds of sports. Often, it only requires minor modifications to the sport to allow for participation. In this video, you will hear from athletes and coaches from six different sports about their experiences. When I run track, I run with a guide, and he's basically helping me stay in my lane and get me to the finish line. The guide himself will be talking to me throughout the whole race. He would say, four strides to the turn, and then I would have to take four strides and then turn. And then when we were off the turn, he would say, home straight. So then that means I have to pick up and run from there, basically. So maintaining my speed and also staying in my lane at the same time. I won a couple me medals at Parasport for um, 100 meter, 200 meter, and long jump. There's a bit of more of a barrier because of the fact that we may have an impairment, but other than that, it's basically the same thing. I say teachers and coaches need to really listen to us and what we have to say about ourselves before they judge us. I really get a lot out of swimming. It's a form of a sport where I don't have to rely on someone to guide me. I can just get in the water and feel completely independent and free. Blind competitive swimming is just like regular swimming, except for three modifications. I have a tapper, so basically I'll get tapped on the shoulder so I know it's time to turn. I'm allowed to brush my hand along the lane rope every few strokes so I know I'm going straight. I have to wear blacked out goggles. That's because there are three categories of blind snorers. Basically makes it a, a level playing field. It's something that I'm good at and I feel completely free. I'm in that pool, just swimming straight ahead and going for it. Judo is uh, the perfect sport to be adapted for the visually impaired and totally blind. The main difference is you start with grips. In blind judo and able-bodied judo you don't. And once a grip is broken in blind judo, uh, the referee will stop the fight and call both people back to the center. I've been in judo for 20 years. I like the discipline. I like the confidence that it gives me. I started off in wrestling and from there on I tr transferred over to judo and it, it really teaches you a lot of self-discipline, it builds character. I like the competitiveness, the challenge of always trying, there's always something new to learn. I just go out there and fight, that's all I do. I do my best to listen to my coach and uh, follow instructions and do my best strategically uh, for winning each fight. In blind powerlifting, it's the exact same as able body powerlifting, except for the fact that the coach is allowed to assist the lifter onto the platform and to have them set themselves up. In some ways, it's no different than working with an, than working with an able body lifter, and in some ways, it's, it's totally different. You have to do a lot of hand over hand, a lot of demo, you can't just do a demonstration where you say, Oh, watch me squat, this is how you squat. You actually have to manipulate their body sometimes into the positions. When you squat, you focus on a, a point in the sky, normally to keep your head up, to keep your shoulders back, keep your back up. A blind lifter can't look into the sky, so they have to uh, focus in their brain on a spot higher than themselves. Uh, I've been working with Sheldon since 95, and he uh, really helps me out with the technique and, and make sure I'm doing the lifts right and properly. And, safely and all that. The best part is when you're done the workout and you've had personal bests and like it makes you feel good that you 
you accomplished more than you did last day you were in the gym. Powerlifting isn't for everyone. Powerlifting um, is a very dangerous sport. However, if you learn the proper techniques, uh, become knowledgeable of the sport, surround yourself with other knowledgeable people, take your time and lift within your limits, it's a great sport that most people can enjoy for a lifetime. <sighs> One more. I get nervous before I get on the mat. I get really, really nervous. I'm just thinking that I'm not good enough. This person is going to beat me, but I don't let that intimidate me anymore. With blind wrestling, you have to start in contact, so your palm will be on top of the person's forearm, and the other hand will be under the elbow. One of the neat things about wrestling um, for the blind sports is that the wrestlers or the athletes compete against able-bodied athletes. So all our athletes compete in tournaments against able-bodied athletes all over Ontario and sometimes the national level as well. Totally blind athlete, uh, the coach will have to work with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis, on the mat, hand over hand, going over the move. So if young people out there who wants to run track or do wrestling, I would say they should find the courage to do it because it'll change their life at some point. Goalball is a Paralympic sport played by visually impaired athletes. You have a ball that's a little bigger than a basketball with bells in it, and we throw it in a high-speed bowling motion and you have to try to get it across a nine meter goal line, but the other team wants to obviously stop the ball, so they have to use their body. The entire court is taped off so that we can feel it because everybody wears a blacked out eye shades so that everyone's on the same level. Everyone's totally blind. Sport is good, like it's fun. It's, it's just, it's a great thing to be a part of. It's just, Anyone and everyone should have the opportunity to get to play and whether you're visually impaired or not or have another disability, it is so great to get out there and play a sport. The OBSA hosts many programs that support blind athletes such as a summer sports camp and sports clinics. We also educate communities across Ontario on how to adapt sports for people with a visual impairment. We're always looking for participants, so if you're interested, become a member of OBSA and help us drive the development of blind sports. For more information, visit our website at blindsports.on.ca or email us at info at blindsports.on.ca. Thanks for watching.